I'm just in, and believe it or not, all this is just in. First of all, I'd like to start this newscast with a story. This story involves a man and a woman who meet each other and they fall in love at first sight. They continue their lives and enjoy their moments together. And then, everything is going great, so the man decides to propose to his wonderful, wonderful wife. And then they get married. And then they find out they were twins, separated at birth. <laughs> funny story? It wasn't as funny to a newlywed couple in Britain that right after their engagement to discover that they were twins, separated at birth. Luckily, though, they received an annulment and quickly went on their way. Our specialist on the scene, the man with the PhD, Dr. Justin, has this to say about the following. Luckily, the offspring of a brother-sister consummation is less likely to suffer peacock syndrome than the consummati consummated child of a mother-son or a father-daughter scenario. One can only hope that they had a white wedding and they follow with Christian traditions. Speaking of Christian traditions, a 29-year-old American man believed that he found the mark of the beast on his hand. Like any rational human being, he removed it almost immediately and threw it in the microwave. Wait, what? This tradition comes, of course, from Matthew, Mark, Luke, and or John, in which they state that it's better to remove part of the sin from your body rather than burn in hell alongside it. Or at least they said something like that. I'm not quite sure. It's been a long time since my sixth grade mandatory Bible study camp. <laughs> uh, anyways, the police and the EMTs found the man who tourniqueted himself in his house, and the newly radiated hand was inside of his microwave. Um, I assume he was sent for help into the psycho ward of the nearest hospital. Not that I'm saying that anyone who loves Jesus is psycho, it's just if you cut off your own hand, it's a little bit different than worshipping Jesus. And finally, this just in. I'm a dinosaur. Roar! Since today marks the beginning of the official International Make Yourself a Dinosaur Week, I started the week off well and created myself. This dinosaur is the Osmosaurus. Anyways, this is just in, and I'm just in, but I better be off because I have myself some Suckosauruses to eat. Roar!